Hello everyone, Ro here at RoeExclusive.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at RoeExclusive. Today we're going to be covering Veeam Endpoint Backup Free. This is a great free backup tool that allows you to do both file level and complete volume level backups. It has a built-in scheduler, it's a very lightweight program, it's easy to use, and doing restores to either the same hardware or a completely different hardware set, whether it's a file level or a complete volume level back, uh, restore, is a very quick and easy process. So today I'm going to do a complete backup of my C drive on my workstation and then I'm going to simulate doing a complete restore on a separate machine. In today's example I'm going to use a virtual machine to do the restore too, but I've tried this on multiple different hardware sets and found that when taking a backup from a specific hardware set and restoring on a completely separate hardware set um, the process is very seamless and that initial boot to get it, uh, boot, the system booted up after the restore uh, is, is problem free. Alright, so once you get the file installed, and I put a link in the description if you need to go and download it, first thing we want to do is open it up and we need to configure a backup. So I'm going to hit configure a backup. It's going to read your system, identify the drives that you have installed and we have a few choices our backup mode can be the entire computer so this is going to back up all of our volumes if we have a C drive, a D drive, an E drive it's going to uh, back up everything that we have, the entire machine we can choose a volume level backup that's what we're going to do today we're going to back up just one volume, in this case the C drive and we can back up any particular volume that we want here and we can also do file level backup it's probably not the best for a file level backup but um, if we wanted to we could do individual file or folder level backups here so I'm going to choose volume level backup and I'm going to go ahead and say I want to back up my C drive now I can choose to do it to local storage so an external hard drive or something maybe another internal hard drive that we have definitely not the same physical hard drive that we're backing up a shared folder that might be on a network maybe on a NAS device and we can also do backups to a Veeam backup and replication repository if you have an existing repository on your infrastructure maybe you have a backup and replication and you're in an enterprise environment so I'm going to say local storage and we're going to back up to an external hard drive so I'm going to say I want to back up to E and we're going to do Veeam demo and let's actually do Veeam demo endpoint okay and we could choose how many restore points we want to keep so this is going to allow us to go back in time up to 14 restore points uh, as the as the backups run so we can also choose to schedule the backup so maybe we want to do it daily at 12 p.m. or whatever time we want to have that backup run and we can choose also to back up at certain events so maybe when we log off of our computer or something like that so there's a few choices here but typically you'd run it daily or weekly I'm going to say next and we could choose to run the job when I click finish and I'm going to do that because we're going to use this backup to restore to another machine so I'm going to say finish and you can see right away that that backup will start now while this backup runs one of the things I want to note is that the backup files that this creates are very efficient so even if you may have a large drive that you're backing up and let's say there's 100 gigs of storage actually on that drive the actual backup file is going to be much smaller so it's a nice efficient backup that file that you get so you're really getting a long um, a lot out of your storage with this uh, with the service alright so our backup just completed here and now let's go ahead and compare the size of that backup file to what we actually backed up so I'm going to open up my C drive here and check out the properties and you can see that we have about uh, 79 gigs worth of data on this particular drive that we just backed up and if we go to what we actually just backed up we could see that in addition to the configuration file the actual backup file is much smaller in this case it's only 31 gigs so we've got a really good ratio and we're really making good use of our uh, of our backup space alright so the next thing we're going to do is actually simulate a restore 
So in this case, uh, for the purpose of the demo, I'm restoring to a virtual machine, but this process is the same as what we would follow if we were doing a bare metal restore, and I've tested this on multiple machines. So I'm simulating here that we plugged in that USB recovery media into our machine that we want to restore to, and we've also plugged in our external hard drive that we were backing up to. So I'm going to simulate starting that machine up. We're going to boot to that USB drive. And what's going to happen is Veeam is actually going to launch a recovery console. So here it is. And while that's booting up, something we're going to see is there's actually some tools that we can use that are built into this recovery console. So we can load drivers, maybe storage drivers if our media doesn't show up. We can do diagnostic. But typically, most external hard drives are automatically going to get recognized, and you probably won't need to use this. So let's go ahead and say we want to do a bare metal recovery. And it's going to search any local storage for backup files. And you can see it automatically identified that I have a backup file here on this drive that I've connected. We can also go to network storage if we have our backup stored on the network. So I'm going to stick with what we have here. I'm going to say next. And you can see we have one restore point. Now in the case that we have got multiple restore points stored on our backup media, typically up to 14 restore points, but you can, you know, choose whatever up whatever you want up to the limit and you can essentially go back in time to some restore point so I'm gonna choose this full backup that we had done and I can choose to back up an entire computer if that backup file contains multiple volumes contains multiple volumes we can do a system volume only so if we have multiple volumes in our backup file but be, we only want to restore the system volume let's say the C drive we can do that and in my case, I'm going to do manual restore because I have a little bit more control over it and I want to talk us through it. So I'm going to say next. And these are the sections that are included in our backup file. And I'm going to say customize disk mapping. And in this case, let's say you bought a used computer you want to restore to. You went to the store, you bought a brand new computer because you had a hardware failure or maybe you're restoring to a new uh, new hard drive because you replaced the hard drive in your computer you may want to go ahead and erase this main hard drive but uh, it will be at your discretion which drive you're restoring to and what you actually want to do here so in the case where we've deleted that typically if we're doing a bare metal restore we'll be at a right click and we want to apply a disk layout and we can just hit disk zero and it will apply those three sections that are in that um, recovery file to this drive. Now because this is a virtual machine and even sometimes you'll run into this when you're doing a bare metal restore you have to actually choose them separately. So I'm going to click on the actual volume space. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say restore disk zero restore each of these three areas. Alright and the volume that was backed up is actually larger than the volume on this disk but so long as the disk that you're restoring to has at least enough space to account for the data that was on the hard drive that you backed up, you're fine. So if you had a 200 gig drive that you backed up, but you only had 80 gig of data on it, you need to make sure that the drive that you're restoring to has at least that much uh, space, so 80 gigs. Okay, and it'll do the shrink for us here. So I'm going to say okay and you can see everything's now checked next and you can see here it's saying that it's going to use some drivers to inject to make sure that um, that we'll be able to boot this machine up so I'm going to hit restore and it's going to go ahead and run that restore process and this is actually a pretty quick process I'm on a very uh, fast machine here but um, I've tried it on multiple hardware sets and the restore process is is fairly quick alright so as we can see here our backups finished and it did it fairly quickly so now I'm gonna hit finish and I'm gonna say that yes I want to reboot that computer I don't want to boot to the USB drive this time I want to let Windows go ahead and boot and it's gonna configure some settings so that it can do that initial boot because this may be a new set of hardware so it's gonna to need to go ahead and get those devices ready for that first boot um, and again this is typically a pretty quick process 
and then the device will boot to that login screen. All right, and here we are at our login screen, so we can see that the restore is successful. And let's go ahead and log in and confirm that. And what we're going to see is that entire environment that we backed up has now been pushed and restored into this new environment. So our programs, our icons, our background, everything is going to be exactly as it was on that original machine. Now the only thing to keep in mind when you restore to a separate or new hardware set is that you're going to want to make sure that you um, correct any drivers, you uninstall any um, any anything that was specific to certain hardware. For instance, um, I have a specific um, ASUS motherboard that I had on my workstation and in this virtual machine we do not need that driver so you're going to see here that this uh, that this error pops up and that's something that we need to uninstall so just make sure that you correct the drivers but ultimately once you get to that first boot that's everything that you can um, easily correct so we've successfully backed up the environment we've successfully run a restore and um, and we have confirmed that so it really couldn't be any easier so again this is veeam backup and uh, sorry veeam endpoint backup free and uh, it's a great software it's a very quick and easy install quick to set up and as you can see very quick to actually use in practice if you have any questions you can shoot me an email or you can contact me everything is available at rowexclusive.com thanks